Hello students, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I am going to discuss in detail about the multiple choice questions based on advanced topics in chemistry. That means we are going to discuss about the multiple choice questions based on supramolecular chemistry. Especially supramolecular chemistry deals with the non-covalent interactions. So coming to the first question, the type of bonding takes place in supramolecules. Especially supramolecular chemistry deals with hydrogen bonding, hydrophobic forces and van der Waal forces. So option A that is hydrogen bonding is the right option. Self assembly is also called. Especially self assembly is the process which results in the formation of stable structures due to folding process. So option B folding is the right option. The irreversible self assembly produces. So whenever if the self assembly is mainly discusses about the higher surface concentrations then it is reversible especially it results in the formation of glasses. So option C glasses is the right answer. So one of the following is not an aspect of molecular self assembly. So molecular self assembly especially deals with the interactions of the components depending upon the environment that means self assembly deals with components interactions and also with the environment especially clipping is the method which is used for the preparation of rotaxins that means molecular assembly will not deal with clipping so option d is the right option the common lead groups of self assembly on gold includes one of the following especially when we discuss about the self assembly on gold it mainly deals with thiols thiols means sh group the molecular motors are Especially the molecular motors are responsible for movements in living organism and also it is mainly related to the molecular machines. So molecular motors are also called as molecular machines. A molecular motor consumes energy and converts it to. So molecular motors are responsible for the production of mechanical work so they are capable of consuming energy and converts it to mechanical work so option c is the right answer coming to the eighth question f0 f1 atp synthesis so atp synthesis means it is an enzyme is a family of proteins which converts so atp synthesis is responsible for the production of potential energy by consuming chemical energy. So it is highly responsible for the production of potential energy. So in this case option A that is the chemical energy to electrochemical potential energy is the right option. Coming to the ninth question. A synthetic rotary molecular motors are capable of producing especially molecular motors are responsible for the circular motion especially they exhibit directional rotation by the input of energy. So in this case option B that is they are responsible for producing continuous directional rotation under an energy input is the right answer. Molecular machines are also known as. So coming to the molecular machines. They are also known as. They can be called as nanites. That means here molecular machines means they can be in nano scale. So nano scale machines can be called as nano machines. 
in other words they can be simply called as nanites so mo molecular machines are having nano dimensions so the machines with nano dimensions are called as nano machines and they can be called as nanites a molecule that can be reversibly shifted between two or more states in response to environmental stimuli is called as it is the direct question so a molecule which is capable of reversibly shifted to two or more states in response to environmental stimuli can be called as a molecular switch in rotaxins the axial molecule consists of one of the following around the shaft so rotaxins means they consists of dumbbell shape it consists of two macromolecules and it consists of a shaft so a macro cycle will be present so coming to the 12th question here macro cycle is the right answer one of the following method is adopted for the synthesis of rotaxins rotaxins can be synthesized by following three methods namely capping clipping and slipping so in the given options option d that is capping is the right answer a mechanically interlocked molecular architecture containing two or more interlocked macro cycles is called especially rotaxins consists of only one macro cycle but coming to the catenanes they consists of at least two macro cycles and hence both are molecular architectures so the molecular architecture consisting of two or more interlocked macro cycles can be called as catenanes a working prototype presents one of the following so prototype means especially it is possible to evaluate new design in order to enhance the precision so what is meant by a prototype prototype means it is highly useful to evaluate new design especially with respect to the precision so prototype means it is possible to evaluate a new design with respect to the precision and prototypes can be of four types especially principal prototype functionality prototype visual prototype and working prototype so the functionality of the final product can be evaluated so option a is the right answer linear motion is called rectilinear motion which is so in case of rotaxins they exhibits linear motion remember linear motion is one dimensional along the straight line so option a that is one dimensional along a straight line is the right option coming to the 17th question that is molecular elevator is a so simply molecular elevator can be called as a molecular machine consisting of three sub units so a molecular elevator consists of a molecular machine consisting of at least three sub units so in this case option b that is molecular machine is the right answer the oldest form of synthetic molecular elevator is so molecular elevator is the big molecule and especially it consists of the size around 3 nanometers and one of the oldest molecular elevator is ph indicator coming to the 19th question gtp ases belongs to a especially gtp ases belongs to the binding protein family so option b is the right answer a molecular coordination switch by acid base input has been developed and utilized in especially the molecular coordinator switch is designed with respect to the field of catalysis so option b that is catalysis is the right answer that is enough about the multiple choice questions based upon the supra molecular chemistry in other words it can be called as advanced topics in 
chemistry if you like the video don't like to don't forget to like share and subscribe thanks for watching have a nice day